What is up guys, it is Lely and we are back with some more Grand Trismo Sport online action. I promise you guys I will make this a regular series. I've been trying to figure out how to do this with some live com, but I'm getting some, a lot of audio issues so th that's the reason why I've delayed this series for a bit. And also lads, this will not have an impact on my PES series. My PES series will still be uploaded at least three to five times a week. This will just be classed as bonus content. So let's get into this race and we are racing in the V12 Vantage. And for some weird reason, lads, no matter where I start on the grid, I just seem to always be by myself in the first corner. I like, I'm never in any action. But I also hold off about a second from qualifying pace, just so we start off in the middle of the grid and make these races more exciting to watch. So we go into the first corner, and you can see here that German leaves the door ever so... Well, he actually... No, he leaves it quite wide open for that Brit, who gives him a little bit of a love shove, makes fourth place his own. This German I knew was going to get too excited to try and win his place back. I wouldn't have attacked that Brit there and then because I knew that was only going to end one way and that was by getting shoved off the track. So we gain a free place there, move ourselves up into fifth. And now we're looking at this Brit, I knew what he's capable of by just willing to just shoot. I wouldn't say he's willing, he had the right to hold his place there. So I wouldn't say he was like rude or anything, but I knew that he was willing to just not give other people space. So we just got to make sure that in this, the remainder of this sector, that we're close enough to him because I knew his car was better than mine in this twisty part of the track anyway. So when I was this close, I thought, right, I'll nail this guy in the next like long straight that turns up. And I didn't exactly take this hairpin the best. I kind of left myself a bit too far behind. But when I realized how quick I was sucking into this guy here, I thought, let's go around the outside because he's not going to really want to you know, leave, go the long way around himself. So I thought he'd leave that side open for me, but he doesn't, he blocked me off, slowed me down. So I had to get back in line and wait for him here. I didn't think it was worth actually lunging in on him there. So I decided just to make him feel uncomfortable, let him know I was there and then thought, right, I'll attack him here. I didn't get the best exit. As you can see, we're not gaining on him straight away. But once I get tucked in, in his slipstream, this guy didn't stand a chance. And what he should have done here, lads, was instead of trying to fight with me through the corner, like he stayed as close as possible. I know I went slightly wide here, but he just messed up by trying to go side by side with me and he didn't handle it the best. So when you look at the side, you'll see the Brit is still behind me, but he ends up messing up that corner so badly that he gets in a little battle with the German and then the Swedish. And then I think even the Austrian guy takes overtakes him as well. So if that was me, I would have actually just hung back behind me like if that was, if I was him I'd have just got back in line behind me stay as close as possible to me and just make sure I don't lose any more positions but I think he, he just got too aggressive and it cost him so you can see there I think the leader I don't know if he made an error or got shoved off but you can see he went really wide and just cost himself the lead and now I thought right now we're clear of the car behind us I looked at daddy Ledfoot, shall we call him uh, that Danish guy in front of us I knew his car was better again through this middle sector where it's all twisty turny I knew my car wasn't going to ever be the best around this circuit, in this part of the circuit. So my aim was to, again, just stay as close as possible up until this next two, you know, these next two rights. I thought, if I'm close, then that's fair enough. But I was actually thinking about a move here because I thought I was just had so much speed on him. And then I obviously thought better of it. So I thought, as long as I'm not too far behind coming out of this hairpin, this next very hard braking zone, as long as I'm not too far behind this... Danish guy I thought right we're going to get him on the next bit of straight so you can clearly see when the car straighten up and get going again that I've got a clear power advantage on him look at that I'm gaining on him so quickly that I lift off the accelerator to get back on the inside here because I thought if I clear him and then get back on the other side of the road which then gives me the inside line for this turn then I'll be able to just be clearly in front of him but he decides to defend that corner I decided not to battle with him through the corner because I thought I'll end up just being in a worse off position I just wanted to make sure I was quick on this straight but you can see that I had a huge snapback some oversteer or whatnot my car was unstable on the exit so now I'm thinking damn I'm just gonna have to wait until the start of the next lap on that next long straight to overtake him but I got sucked in and caught him up rapidly I nailed this turn I thought you know what I can actually go for a lunge on the inside here but he went over on the inside very early which gave me the idea to decide to just take this corner normally make sure I'm fast coming onto this straight and then I knew I'd have him and again, I wasn't as fast as I wanted to be, but again, I knew my car just had so much power that I could decide which side I wanted to overtake him on. He decided to, again, defend the inside line, thinking that we'd be going into that corner side by side, but I trusted him not to run me in the back here, and that trust paid off, and I just had 
just so much confidence to chuck that car in the corner the way it did and if I didn't if I messed up there his car was really quick in the corners and he would have got that place back so now I'm in front here I thought right all I've got to do is survive an attack from the car behind for these next couple of corners and then I can focus on the cars in front because I knew that my car on this circuit has a massive power advantage over most cars it's just about dealing with these cars around me in this sector here because these cars are quicker most of the cars in front of me and behind me are actually quicker in this middle sector so I well in the first and middle sector so I just gotta make sure I'm you know there or thereabouts when it comes to the long straights that I'm you know close enough to actually get in for an overtake so when we go into this heavy braking zone I knew I was safe from the car behind so now my focus was just to attack the car in front and you can see he got a bit out of shape there which led me to feel like there was an overtake on here so he went a bit on the just say exit of that went a bit wide on that turn left me the inside but he then rudely I, I, was, I felt that I was rude of him to just come and basically make contact with me there get me unstable so I decided again I'm gonna go for this guy along this main straight here but again lads not as big as the last previous lap but the car was unstable a bit of oversteer a bit of a snapback and that probably what cost me the overtake or the chance of an overtake on this guy on this main straight but again rapidly guys you can see how much I'm gaining on him and had I nailed this turn like I did in the last lap I might have had a chance of going for an inside lunge but obviously my car wasn't stable enough and then that guy I don't know how the guy in first panicked or whatnot no one made any contact with him he's chucked away first place and that ends up giving us second and had we had one more lap I would have had this guy by the main straight by this first turn I would have had him I felt like I would have and we would have got first position but that French guy with that little early defensive maneuver ends up holding into first place and we end up this race moving up four positions in second I just remember when I was racing I thought that was such a brilliant race to actually take part in I hope you guys did enjoy this race to watch if you want to see more of these sorts of races guys let me know in the comment section if you want to see open lobbies or anything else to do with Gran Turismo any challenges any races any cars any grade races that you want to see let me know in the comment section if you did like this video guys remember to give it a thumbs up I appreciate any support by you lot giving it a thumbs up and just sharing it with your friends this is a game I want to breach into and also you know just start playing other games as well as pairs so guys I appreciate any support you guys give me don't forget to subscribe because there will be plenty of content whether it's pairs or other games lads I'm going to be starting to do a lot more games there'll be a lot of content on this channel so guys remember to subscribe until next time guys peace